Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to September 2023 general monthly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, so let's get into the transits. We have many retrograde planets this month. Transits, okay. <laughs> and, okay, so I also am taping on, it's the 26th of August, today, 2023. And so I'm going to include the super full moon which is on August 31st, which is a huge deal because it's, it's seven degrees Pisces and we have transiting Saturn retrograde Pisces and it's four degrees. And so it's a close conjunction to this super full moon. And not only that planet, but we also have Neptune, even though it's not in close conjunction, it is in Pisces, and so it does make, it, it is important to add that into the mix because they're all three Pisces, so they are conjunct, even though it's not all conjunct by close degree. It definitely has an influence. So what I see is that transiting Saturn retrograde conjunct the full moon, super full moon in Pisces is all about authority figures. It's all about security base. And we're talking individually and out in the world. And so we're, and then here we have Neptune, which has to do with, uh, it has to do with illusion. It has to do with imagination. It has to do with fantasy and even deceit. And it's, that's the natural how, oh, excuse me, the natural planet of Pisces is Neptune. And so it's bringing out Saturn is again, that authority figure that is saying, okay, and it's retrograde. So it's saying, okay, wait, wait a minute here. Let's look back. Let's look back to the past and see what is the truth. What's, and Neptune saying, okay, we're going to distinguish the past whether it's recent past or long ago past, we're gonna now expose and distinguish the difference between truth, facts, and fantasy or illusion. And that is what I see the full moon, super full moon doing. It, it, it's an explosion of a whole bunch of energy exposing what I just talked about. So again, that can be to us individually, having to do with our needle wheel and what, what blockages need to be unblocked and need to be seriously focused on Saturn and taken a look at and dealt with Saturn. And it could also have everything to do with out in the world because we see a lot of that, the energy, I don't know about you, but I know me, the energies have been very, very powerful and we're feeling it right now. So, and we have been, and I have been for at least a week. So anyway, also to continue on, we have Pluto in Capricorn and it's also retrograde still, of course, and it begins the month out at 28 degrees and by the end of the month, 27 degrees and so it is also a sextile which is a very easy and compatible to Pisces so it's also assisting with this bringing out the truth into the open and we're talking the root truth to be able to blast away kindly because Saturn, transiting Saturn and transiting Pluto are in a kind, compatible sextile right now, but still nonetheless, it's Pluto is also assisting 
in the truth coming out and blasting away anything that's not not truthful and not for our benefit individually and at, in the world and for humanity right now at large as well. Okay, so then we also have transiting, uh, transiting Aries North Node is conjunct to transiting Chiron in Aries as well. So that is still a big deal. And then, and they're both retrograde, by the way, and then we also have Uranus and uh, Jupiter retrograde, and they're both conjunct in Taurus. Even though it's not a close conjunction, they're still conjunct. And so again, Uranus has to do with unexpected, surprising changes, and then Jupiter, wherever it's, whatever planet it's close to, it expands it, and so it's going to expand Uranus surprises, unexpected surprising changes this month. They're both in Taurus, and it has to do with our value system, what we value, what is value, value to us, how do we value ourselves individually, and then what is valuable or not out in the world, or and that can do with belief systems, that can do with um, how I'm just getting how the world has been run up to this point. Big business. Again, Pluto and Capricorn, which is ending. And we're going to have Pluto going into Aquarius, which has a whole nother, nother energy. And it has to do with unity and compassion and those are all of the positive things. Okay, so anyway, let's, oh, we also have one more things. We have Mercury will go direct. It's retrograde today, and but it will go direct on the 15th, and the new moon is also on the 15th, and that, that's going to be 22 degrees Virgo. And we also have the second full moon, which I apologize, Two, I did, I just did Virgo, my first reading. So Virgo, if any of you who are listening to, to Libra also have Virgo, I apologize. I did not mention the full moon, the second, or actually the first full moon, that's in September, will be on the 29th. And that is going to be in Aries, six degrees. So that is going to be a conjunction to Chiron in Aries and North Node in Aries. So you might wanna check, do you have anything in Aries or anything squaring your planets or nodes, the moon or Chiron to Aries? Okay, now let's get to your personal general reading Libra. And as I always like to say, if this reading isn't right for you, that's perfectly okay because your, your natal wheel and the transiting planets are unique to each and every one of you. So you might want to try your moon sign, your rising, or your north or south nose of the moon. Okay, Libra. Let's see what is in store for Libra's September. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Libra. For Libra. Okay, this one. Healing, all right, that's number five. Maybe some of you have a life path number five. And let's take those, okay. And you definitely could have Virgo in your chart, some of you Libras, because look at this, 33, soul love, and, and uh, Virgo had 333, 3, 3, 33, and 3 as very significant numbers for, for them, and so I'm seeing that same pattern and same thing for you, 33. 
So if you're seeing that sign of synchronicity, pay attention. Pay attention. If you fish, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but if you do and you desire, watch what's going on around you, what you're feeling, what you're thinking about, what you're discussing with another I just got. If you see the master number 33 come up for you, because it's trying to tell you something. It has something to do with soul love. Whoa, I just got the chills. You're healing too. Your soul is healing. And of course, we heal with unconditional love. Soul love. And so you have been doing that or you are just completing that. Or there is definite soul love coming in, a healing, healing heart chakra for some of you. But of course, that's the love chakra, but I'm just getting a, I'm getting an even deeper healing, a soul healing for you. Libras is coming this month. I'm gonna put this up because maybe this has, um, codes in it, light codes, and so I'm just being drawn to show that for a little bit. And so if you want to, you might want to pause the video and see what comes to you or just take this energy in. You don't necessarily have to know anything consciously is what I'm getting. Okay. And then also the soul love. Okay. All right. Okay. So next, you have number 28, and that breaks down into a 10. And again, Virgo had number 28, because it, it broke down into a 10 as well. So there's another sign in synchronicity. For those of you who would like that, you have something in your chart that's major, that's Virgo. Maybe it's your, your ascendant I'm getting for some of you. Okay. Inner voice, look at that. Listen to your inner voice. It is trying to tell you something or it is telling you something. Not that you don't aren't listening, but there is something specific about your healing, about this soul love, about your healing, that your higher self, the universe, um, however you want to see that the creator is trying to tell you or is going to tell you this month. And it could be through signs and synchronicities for some of you, if that is how you get your messages, however you get your messages. I'm getting some of you, you're gonna hear it. Okay, and then here's number 43, and that's enlightenment. And that goes right in with this inner voice. So something, you're gonna have an aha moment or moments the number two is coming up and then the number three. So you could have two to three aha moments this month. This is a big deal for you, Libras. And it's going to enable you to see the world in a whole new, expanded, bigger, brighter way. It has to do with truths coming out. And that doesn't surprise me because again, with, and I just got, because see Libra, whatever you have in Libra, it is squared. So hard aspect to transiting Chiron in Aries and transiting North Node in Aries. And then the, la the full moon on the 29th in Aries. So pay attention to that full moon for you. And you might want to check and see what else beside, it, what all do you have in Libra? And some of you have something or planets or something, Chiron or your nodes, the moon, whether it's north or south node, in Aries as well. And so that's a big deal, very big deal. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see what comes out for Libra. Oh, my Maria 
that. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. What do Libras need to know about this enlightenment, about this inner voice, their healing? Soul love, what do you need to tell? What do they need to know? I just got the words big deal, big deal, Libras. So, whoa, okay. So there is definitely something that is a big deal for you that you are going to find out. It has to do with your healing. Sacred mountain. This is number seven, and here, 43 is seven. Enlightenment and sacred mountain, so 77, and again, I'm telling you, you, someone or several of you have um, major Virgo placements because Virgo also got two sevens, two seven cards. Okay, but anyway, it's okay if you don't, but, so sacred mountain, I'm, I'm getting you've been on or you are on a, consciously I'm getting that you, some of you, you, you know consciously that you are on a very sacred spiritual journey. Like a, here I'm being drawn to the word vision quest, clarity and truth, Sambhala or Shambhala, excuse me, I hope that I pronounced that right, and deep healing, there you go, deep healing, you've got another healing. So you've been doing some really deep down digging and deep healing for yourself and seeking truth. However you've been doing that, but literally I'm getting this. Some of you have literally been on a vision quest or you've been on this, there's a, see there's a person on, I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's a person, yeah. It's really small, but here's this big pathway and to me, that's a journey, that's that sacred journey, inner journey. And you've been on that, you are on that, you're somewhere on the path. I don't know where, again, this is a general reading in some of you. It's true, you could be just beginning, that's true. You could be beginning your, your uh, sacred path this month and that's taking you, um, again, you're healing from something though, but your inner voice is taking you in a new direction on your sacred path or continued expanding I'm getting but some type of an enlightenment is definitely coming to you this month so that you can either continue or um, begin whatever that might be okay oh I am so sorry you cannot see your cards sorry about that okay there we go Okay, and then I'll put this card right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we still have time. So let's get some tarot cards for you, Libra. What else do they need to know? What do Libras need to know about this enlightenment, this healing that's happening? Well, okay, all right. That all wanted to come out, so I will allow for that, of course. Three of Cups, okay. So something, yes, you are concluding something and there's something to celebrate. And that's number three. So here you go, you have three, three, three now. So you have 33 and then three, three, three. So 33 is a master number. And again, 33 is, or three, three, three is very spiritual too. So that's important. But something is coming where you've had, you've been um, having some, this is five of wands. You've been having some hard times. You've been having some um, butting heads with others. Uh, finding, it's been really difficult is what I'm getting. Wands has to do with your dream, has to do with, it could be definitely your spiritual dream. So you've been having a real difficult time either finding out what that is to you, what, or, or, um, making your dreams happen, getting a new um, new beginnings with you've maybe 
are desiring a new beginning and it's been a real rough road. You've been working through really hard, hard stuff so you can, so that you can make your dreams come true. Well, you're gonna see some, some enlightenment, some healing in this area. You're gonna see a breakthrough, this is what I'm getting. Yeah, Page of Cups, look at that. Incoming communication in this area of your dreams or a breakthrough in this area of your dreams, your wishes, what you've been desiring, what you've been creating for yourself or, or working through so that you can have what you desire and create what you, what you want instead of what you don't want is what I'm getting to. So you might have Pisces in your chart and I'm getting maybe a Pisces can help you or maybe in the past a Pisces has helped you with, I'm just, I don't know, I've never gotten that before, but I'm just saying what I see and hear what's coming into my head, the words. Okay, and then the nine of wands. Yeah, you've, you've been through it. You've been through a battle. It's been tough, but you have grown so strong. And again, uh, you're ready and maybe you're again in the process of healing healing yourself Maybe at the end for some of you, but again, you're you're strong and and if you don't see That what you've gained and the strength that you have because of what you've gone through You will see it this month and maybe that's part of your enlightenment and has everything to do with healing Being able to move forward and, and heal because when you see the positive you see oh you found the baby in those experiences, those tough experiences. But again, I'm seeing that you, you do see that because this is the nine of wands. And so you're at the end, you are at the end of that. And so you are, you see what you've created be, or what you have now or who you are and what you've grown into because of all of these hardships. And so it's actually, look at, all of these wands, they're all standing up and they've created a, a strength for you, a protection, a, maybe some of you have boundaries now where you didn't before, but it's created a very secure base. You have created a very secure base for yourself and I'm getting a protection. Maybe some of you had to, yeah, uh, you had to, create protection for yourself and boundaries for yourself. Well, you've done an awesome job. Awesome. Okay. That's so beautiful. Okay, so, I am just Wondering if I should stop now one more card because I am I have the last three months this is the third month of the month is that I am decreasing the time so Let's take one last card before I close this reading for you Libras and we will see what, what else do you have to look forward to because of this Healing you've been doing or or will complete or Enlightenment, this Three of Cups, let's see what the land between. You are bridging something. I'm just drawn to these two pieces of land here, they're separated, but you're bridging two things and that makes sense. Look at that Libra. That's, that, you are a bridge of sorts. You are a balancer. That's what that's what Libra is, is balance. Creating balance in your life so, or in others' lives or both. Um, and maybe you're, maybe this is part of your, you've been walking your sacred path and bridging your own, making your own path and making your own bridge and now you're going to be able to do that and assist others in doing the same thing, or maybe you're already doing that. But something with this beautiful bridge that you have created, this is number 40. 
to where in, I mean, this is like a cataclysm. This is a, this is seemingly unbridgeable where people can't go from one side to the other, but look at this. You've done this or you are in process of doing this and you're going to be able to uh, celebrate, celebrate this. That's beautiful. And then number 21, exposed and revealed. Look at that. You're here to expose and reveal truth. Reveal what you have found. What you have found first inside yourself. And then that's going to also help to open up others. And 21, that breaks down into a three. There's another three right there. Something creative, something beautiful, something new for yourself. And it's going to assist others in being able to open themselves up so they can expose themselves and so that they can re reveal and be revealed their true self and their true beauty, their true creativity, whatever that is. But you have something here, Libra, that you have been, because you've been healing and doing the work, whatever that is, you have something that bridges the two worlds very balances them very beautifully for others and their lives and what they is necessary for them for for them to continue on to on their path and who they truly are okay well that's all i have for you libras i hope this has helped until next time bye